Today we're going to cover biomes, but before we do that, we have to define what exactly a biome is. So, when we say biome, we're talking about areas of the planet that are classified according to their climate, which would be their temperature and pre precipitation, and the organisms that have adapted to the climate and its location. For example, the desert, we know that its temperature is very hot, its precipitation is very low, and organisms that are adapted to live there are things like succulents and cacti. So for each of the biomes we're going to look at and talk about in this unit, we're going to look at a climatogram. Here's an example of a climatogram, and you can see here that it has two y-axes. This one is precipitation measured in millimeters, and that is the bars at the bottom, and the temperature is the dots on the graph up here in degrees Celsius. So you don't use these to pick out specific numbers and compare them because different parts of the globe are going to have different specific numbers, but we're looking at overall patterns. So if we take our first four types of forests, the taiga, the temperate rainforest, the temperate seasonal forest, and the tropical rainforest, you see that they all look a little bit different, the types of species that are there. Remember, these are different biomes, so the species adapted to live there should be different. And if we look here at what they're found, they're all found in different parts of the globe. So when we look at their climatograms, we're going to immediately see a lot of differences. We see relatively low precipitation to relatively high precipitation, but if you notice, the two rainforests are pretty similar. When we look at temperatures, we've got a big swing in our taiga. The two temperate forests are fairly similar. And then our tropical rainforest is consistently very warm. So those are climatograms for different forest biomes. If we compare our grasslands, we have the temperate grassland like prairies or the steppes in Russia, and then our savanna, again, found in different areas. This one only in the southern hemisphere. If we look at their climatograms, we see a little bit of, di of difference. Our temperate grassland is pretty um, similar temperatures to ours, cooler winters, warmer summers. Not a ton of precipitation, but it's pretty consistent throughout the year. Our savanna is very warm year-round, either gets a lot of rain or none. Last, we have types of deserts, the shrubland, the desert, and the tundra. Again all three different locations. Our tundra is only located near the poles. And their climatograms show an interesting story. So our, our shrubland is kind of like a cross between the grassland and the desert. It gets a lot of, not a lot, but it gets rain seasonally. But in the summer, like we are right now, it gets none. And the temperature is very hot. So this one's the one that's been in the news quite a lot recently. If you look right down here. California. Our desert is hot to really, really hot to slightly less hot and basically no rain ever. Our tundra follows a similar, similar pattern, it's just the cold version. So it's very, very cold to cold to very, very cold and basically no rain. So you're going to notice when you look at these on a map that they follow the latitude, so typically around the equator. We see the tropical rainforests, forests. As you move away from that, we get our deciduous forests, trees, temperate forests and grasslands, and then our Arctic areas. But do keep in mind that <clears throat> the distribution of biomes is dynamic, so it changes over time. You can see this glacier below has receded quite a lot. It's changing where glaciers are due to changes in climate, changing western wine regions, which is all on fire right now. And lastly, it's important to remember that these things we've talked about today, the climate, latitude, the altitude, the type of nutrients there are in soil, which we're going to focus on more coming up, um, affect the type of natural resources. And for our biomes we talked about today, they could be water availability and trees for things like lumber. <laughs>